What's up beautiful humans? Welcome back to this channel and today is very very different but I'm excited. As some of you may know I used to film weddings and I know a good amount about cameras and I'm a Sony fangirl. So if Sony came out with the ZV-1 a couple months ago maybe six seven months ago at this point um, and I saw all the review videos from all the big people and I said I want it. So I ordered it from my local camera shop because support local and I grabbed it. I fell in love with it immediately and I have been filming on it ever since. The color straight out of camera is beautiful. The color science that Sony has come up with for the ZV-1 and anything coming out um, is unprecedented. It is beautiful, it is stunning, it is easy and true to real life. I love Sony so much. Um, I have the A series that I filmed weddings with and I hopefully am getting the uh, A7S III in the coming months um, when maybe the price comes down a little bit. But that is something I have been waiting for for a long time. But the problem with the ZV-1 is that there's uh, a flaw. And I think there's only one. It's that it's not wide enough. I have very short arms um, and when I am vlogging, I have it on a tripod. It is a tripod that extends a little bit, um, but it's normally, it's a very lightweight. It probably gets to about this tall. It's not very large. Um, it's very lightweight, it's aluminum. Um, and I love the tripod, but with my arms being so short, even with the tripod, it's not wide enough to shoot the angle that I would prefer it to shoot. It's not a bad angle. If you have longer arms, you might not have this issue, but I saw a solution to this problem that is very cheap and very easy to install. It is the Ulanzi WL Wide Angle Macro Lens for the Sony ZV-1. You can do it for the RX100 if you want and the Canon G7 uh, Mark III. So it comes in this box, very simple box. And what it does is um, Ulanzi is a small brand. They have stuff for iPhones, they have stuff for um, kind of handheld cameras, and they have cages, they have you know brackets and, and things like that that you can use um, for a bunch of different cameras. And you can kind of go on Ulanzi's website, this is not sponsored by the way, um, for smartphone accessories, for, um, for this, for other things like that. But I'll put the link to this. Um, I got it off Amazon, so I'll put the link in the description down below. It's the same price on Ulanzi's website. Um, so when you open it, it comes with a lens cleaner, which I always appreciate because I always tend to lose these, like a little instruction manual. And it comes in this box like this. Super simple, again, super small. It is um, this. And it comes with two of these plates. Now this plate, as you can see, very thin and then it has this white ring on the back so this white ring is actually a sticker you peel off this white part and you stick it very carefully <laughs> to your lens um, because the CV1 does not have a, um, a a lens mount that is a it's a fixed kind of zoom in zoom out lens when you turn it on you can um, put this around where that would be and it sticks on and then it has thread on the inside. I'm gonna hold it up to see if you can see. I doubt you can. But it has thread on the inside to for this to screw into. I also really like the fact that it comes with extra stickers um, in here that if it does fall off or like gets wet or um, hopefully it doesn't get wet, but if you, you know, if it gets loose, you have other options to stick it again to your camera and it also has two of these um, threaders, the adapters if you will, um, because I have one already on my camera because I've been playing with this so far. So it is super simple. It has a lens cap which I really, really, really like because with the ZV-1 and I believe most of the cameras of this fits, the RX100 and the G7, I'm looking down at the specs of this, uh, the Canon G7 Mark III, they have a lens that when you turn off or turn on your camera, it has a shutter lens. So it'll close and it'll go bloop, so it covers your lens. 
Um, DSLRs lenses do not have that. They are fixed and you put a lens cap on. So this is kind of that same style. It has um, the wide angle as the main thing, but then it has this back cap, which I also like. So you can just carry this if you didn't really want to use it at the time. Um, if you were just shooting like this, I don't have it on right now because I don't need it because I'm far away, far away from my camera versus me holding it. Cause if I was holding it, it would be here and it'd be very much a different angle. Um, so I wouldn't use it for sit down video, but I don't like this noise at all of any lens. It's the worst. Um, again, this is a threaded back cap and it is solid. So I really, really like that, that they included it. And it's just a lens, you can't really tell here, but you take the lens cap off. And this is just, you can easily get a replace a replacer of this if you, on Amazon, if you lost it, it's 58 millimeter um, lens cap. You can just Google that. They're a couple bucks probably if you ever needed another one of these. And um, so it's this, very simple. Um, this is kind of weighty, but I'm just going to show you what this looks like. And you're probably gonna see what the studio actually looks like because this is not the entire room. So you're about to get a behind the scenes, maybe. I don't know how far it's gonna go over here, but I'm gonna show you what this looks like on and off. And I'm gonna be kind of close to the camera, but you'll be able to tell. So, hi friends. It turns from this to this. Do you see what I'm talking about? This to this. That's, I'm looking at my viewfinder. This is crazy, you guys. This to this. So all you do is screw it on and it just sits on your camera. And if you are just vlogging like normal, you can do that. But also a really cool thing about this is you can take this front piece off. So this is like a two in one. Again, this noise sucks. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's in there. So this is the fisheye, if you will, that makes it the wide. So I'm gonna set that over here but this is a macro lens, so you can get really, really cl beautiful close-ups. So again, here's my lovely face, guys. This, and then look at that, the detail. I'm not gonna screw this on all the way, but look, I'm, I'm literally touching the lens. You can get beautiful macro shots with this. This is so versatile, so needed for this camera. I think that it's a game changer. In my opinion, the ZV-1 is a perfect starter camera for vloggers. I'm screwing this back on. Whew. Um, you can also get a polarizer filter for this. It's a 52 millimeter. You can always just get one on Amazon if you wanted one. The ZV-1 has one built in, but if you had the um, other cameras that aren't built in, you could buy one and put it on here. It has a thread like normal, like a normal DSLR um, lens would have. I adore this thing. The simplicity of it, the versatility that it has. I like that it's a little weighty um, because my Sony ZV-1 is extremely light, which I really, really love. So this doesn't add a lot to it. And I really, really like it. It does make it a little chunky on the front, which I don't mind. Um, but some people do mind and they want to stick this that in their pocket. They can't do that. But this doesn't have to stay on your camera. You can literally carry it around in a bag, in your, like in a camera bag, anything like that. But I think this is a necessity if you have a ZV-1 and you're vlogging on it. The Sony ZV-1, in my opinion, is a revolutionary vlogging camera for beginners. You can film anything with the color science that Sony has straight out of camera with no color correction, no audio correction, and have a beautiful vlog. Um, the specs on the ZV-1 are great. The only problem with the ZV-1 is the angle that you have when you stabilize your footage. So the ZV-1 has um, three options for in-camera stabilization. It has off, it has standard, and it has sport mode. Sport mode, the, the more options you have, the tighter your crop gets. I put it on standard um, because of how much it crops. So I might actually change it to sport to see if it's smoother. I know it is smoother, but I wanna see what this looks like with sport on it. But in my opinion, my humble opinion, if you have the ZV-1 and you don't have this, 
you're missing out because this is 50 bucks. It's by far the best ZV-1 accessory you could ever have. The onboard audio on a ZV-1 I think is stellar. It is easy, it is simple. I have never had to correct any audio. The wind um, functionality of blocking the wind is perfection. Sony has done such a great job with that. Having the onboard audio on the ZV-1 is amazing. The color science again with the ZV-1 is beautiful. Um, if you wanted to hand color grade, you could. Um, I think the raw photos that come out of a ZV-1 are beautiful as well. This will take great wide angle photos, um, macro photos if you wanted to get really tied up on those beautiful florals, those just fun, fun, fun macro photos that you can get. So this is a great two-in-one, simple, very inexpensive accessory that you can get for a kind of inexpensive camera when it comes to a beginner camera. Um, I love this thing. I cannot wait to have it um, for my videos coming up. Um, I've been using it around the house and it is amazing. What I love about this is that it honestly, it's not a, it's not a real lens. It's just manipulated glass. Um, and it has no computer in it, it has no stabilization in it. It is literally what it is. It's manipulated glass. And I'm trying to get this. But this is just so simple that you don't have to worry about um, knowing how to work this. It works on its own. So if you Google how to use this camera or if you wanna see my settings that I have on my camera, let me know down in the comments. I would love to do that for you. But this, I'm gonna show you again because I just think it's crazy. Here's the normal angle of my ZV-1. It's not bad, I love it. Um, it's fine, but this, what? That's such a, I'm not, I haven't moved. I haven't moved. That's crazy. I cannot stress how crazy and simple this beautiful piece of equipment is. So this is a must have for me. Um, I am doing a video Thursday that kind of tells you all my vlogging setup for 2021, the things that I use, the things that I love, um, things that I hopefully would help you start a channel or hopefully encourage you to maybe upgrade what you've got. Um, but this, if you have a ZV-1 already or thinking about getting a ZV-1 and you're like almost about to pull the trigger, pull the trigger on this too because there's it's game changing you guys. I really enjoyed making this video. It is the first of its kind here on this channel and I'm so excited to make things like this, camera stuff, tech stuff, um, because it's, I'm geeking out over this stupid, like it's so simple, but it, for me, having something that solves a problem, the only problem that I think this camera has, an easy solution, a fixable solution, an uncomplicated, simple solution, really <laughs> fires me up and it is so cool, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful if you have the ZV-1 or if you're on the fence of the ZV-1 or if you think that you have short arms too and you need something wider, here's your solution, guys. The Ulanzi, I'll link this down in the description below um, to the Amazon link that um, I bought it from. But Ulanzi is a really cool website. Um, they have a bunch of accessories for smartphones. If you're vlogging with your phone, if you're vlogging with a GoPro, they have a bunch of stuff that you can kind of play around with, look on their website and enjoy and kind of church up or zhuzh up your camera setup that you have now for very inexpensive and very quality items. Um, I think, that noise, that this is a game changer. I'm so excited to have it in my arsenal. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you stick around and turn on that bell notification and you subscribe because I can't wait to see more of you and until next time, guys, be beautiful humans. Bye.